Hey, today on Wicked Good Eats, we're going to make some nice Lucanico or Greek sausage. So, we're going to get right into it. So, we have nine pounds of pork butt, three pounds of lamb. We're going to want some pork fat, pork fat back, about one pound. Uh, we're going to need some leeks that we're going to uh, fry up ahead of time to add to the mix. So you want uh, at least two to three good sized leeks. I'm going to go with two. Uh, you're going to need some red wine, some minced garlic, kosher salt, some wine vinegar, about six oranges. We're going to grate to get the uh, orange zest. You're going to need some extra virgin olive oil to fry up the leeks. And for seasonings, we're going to have some oregano, black pepper, coriander seed, which we're going to toast and then grind up and some thyme. So. Okay, we got all of our meat cut up and what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the refrigerator for now. Okay, so the leeks, um, what you want to do is you don't want to use this dark green uh, pot. So just up to about here, that's where we're going to cut it and then clean off the ends and that's how much of the leeks we're going to use. So we'll get those chopped up. Okay, so we got our nice wok uh, over here on a medium heat. We're going to take some of our um, extra virgin olive oil and we're going to just pour that in like such just till it coats the bottom and we'll let that heat up and we've chopped up our leeks we're going to cook these for about 10 to 15 minutes in, in the wok on a medium heat okay the oranges you just want to get a little hand grater okay and you just want to give it a good rub so you get down to the whites and you can just keep that working that around because that's what you want that um, orange zest and we're going to go do this for um, all six oranges so when you're done you should have this nice bowl of shredded orange zest you can see the um, oranges we shredded the to get the zest and um, our leeks are cooking up nice. Just keep stirring those. Maybe probably got another um, eight minutes to go. The coriander seed, um, you're going to want to toast that. So we got a nice pan, no oil in it, just dry. Um, and we're going to put uh, three tablespoons of that coriander seed in here to toast it up. And that usually takes about four or five minutes. Okay, what that looks like there so we'll go post those up like I said they're probably four or five minutes they'll be fine okay so we got the nice coriander seed you can smell it um, so we're just gonna go pour it in so container our leeks are nice and cooked we're gonna take those put those in this little dish right here let them cool off a little bit and I'll shut that down. Now we're ready. We're going to take those leeks and actually put them to the grinder with the meat, but we're going to let them cool off for a little while first. We got our food grinder all set up with the tray, so we're going to get that going on a nice little setting of three to four. And we got our pork fat back, we got our lamb and pork all in here, and we can just start. Feeding that in, right into the tray, like such, okay, and you can see how that nice grinds it up, fits it out in this nice bowl. So we're going to go through and grind up this whole bowl and put it in here, and then we'll come back when that's done. Okay, so when you're all done, you have this nice big giant bowl of nice ground up pork, lamb, and the leeks in there. So now we're going to start making our uh, seasonings we'll add it back into this bowl and give it a nice mix we got roughly about 12 pounds of um, nice Lucanico mix so for 12 pounds we're going to need six tablespoons of kosher salt because so we want this to cure a little bit but not a full cure because we're going to cold smoke it. Six tablespoons of granulated garlic, well chopped garlic. Two, three, 
sure. Our three tablespoons of coriander seed. We're going to put that in there so that'll chop up nice. Two tablespoons of ground black pepper. One. Two. Two tablespoons of oregano. Nice oregano. One. Two. One tablespoon of ground thyme. I got this nice ground thyme. One, One cup of red wine. Okay, I'll pour that right in. Beautiful. Six tablespoons of red wine vinegar. One, two. Okay, and that leaves our orange zest. So we're going to go ahead and pour that in also. And then we'll pour it over our meat and mix it. Okay, so that's about good. So we'll get our meat out and start mixing that. Food processor, I'm going to pour that right over like such. Okay, so once that's on there, now you want to work it by hand for about a good five minutes uh, so when it all incorporates and then uh, we'll put a cover on it and then we're going to uh, let it marinate for uh, at least 24 hours. Okay, so we'll get started on that. See, so just get in there with your hands, mix it up good, make sure it gets all incorporated. Oh, I can smell that orange. It's absolutely phenomenal. We got it all nice and mixed up. As you can see what that looks like now. So we want this to, uh, like I said, marinate for about um, 24 hours, at least 24 hours. So we're going to put some saran on it, get it in the fridge, and let it get nice and uh, marinated, nice and cold. Okay? We're going to start prepping the um, hard casing. Okay, so we're going to take one of these. Find the end. Alright. And these have been soaking, but you want to get the inside of the casing too. So you just want to fill it up with some water. Okay, like such. And just work that water through until you get to the other end. Okay, so we got a sausage Lucanico stuffing. Um, that's been in the refrigerator oh, about a day and a half. Um, marinate in and absorbing all the nice flavors so that's ready to get stuffed we got our sausage casings these have been soaking and I rinsed them through with some nice uh, warm water and uh, so then get a lot of that salt brine off we got our sausage stuffer ready to go we'll put the casings on the stuffer got a nice um, you know want some string so we can tie the sausage a couple of toothpicks if you get any air pockets and of course your Sausage stuffer to um, feed it in. So we'll get started. Okay, so we got our sausage casing on, and what you want to do is just take the end, give it a good tie. Okay. Oh, it smells great. Smell the iron. And here comes the stuff. See that fills up nice. Let it work its way in. Okay, so we got our first link nice and filled. You just want to work it down. Don't be careful not to break it. Okay. Then you can get some of your string. You can twist it off. I like using the string. This way it um, doesn't come loose. Give it a good tie, and you keep going. Okay, so after about um, five minutes of stuffing, 
Let's see, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, half a dozen links already. So we'll keep going until we uh, wipe this bowl out. Okay, so when it's all said and done, you got about good uh, 15 pounds of uh, Lucanico, or Greek sausage. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a tray, get a nice wire rack, lay these up, and then they are going to um, cure and dry in the refrigerator for at least two days, two to three days. Sausage has been curing and drying for a couple of days, so now we're going to get a nice cold smoking going on. So what that means is you're still going to use this nice hardwood lump charcoal. Get that going. Going to start it like a little fire here. I got some um, nice alderwood chips. I'm going to use the smoke. Um, get that going, and we'll line up the sausages on this side, not over any direct heat. We're not using the grill lit. Uh, it's all going to be from this pan. So, and that'll take about a couple hours. So we'll start getting this fire going. Okay, so we got that fire going. So we're going to let it. Uh, Get those coals nice and uh, hot and then we'll uh, put out the flame and then it'll just be the um, the smoke and a slow cook and we'll just keep adding these chips for a couple of hours um, and we'll get the uh, sausages going. Alright, it's been a few minutes and we got the sausages out here ready to go on. Not ready yet, but you can see how that's getting nice and hot, getting the coals in there, that's what you want. Okay, so you can see how that's uh, graying up nice. So we'll give it about five more minutes. Okay, so we're going to get our sausages and start um, weaving them in here. It's okay if it goes on there. Okay, so you want the smoke to get all around. Beautiful. So that's what it looks like. And you can see that that's just about burnt out, so that's good. They grate up nice. So, all right, so we got our bowl with water. We got some of these nice alder wood chips, keep them nice and wet. Um, that way, when you put them on the the smoker, uh, it won't flame up. You can see how those are nice, smoking nice. You want that to fill. So we're about 15, 20 minutes into it. You can see that nice smoke billowing out. That's what you want coming out the back. So it's going all around those sausages. Take a look. Oh yeah, nice, nice smoke. It's been about an hour. You see that's still smoking nice. Just throw a few more chips on there so you can see that smoke coming. And I just rotated the sausages. So you wanna try to rotate them around so they're not too close to the fire. And uh, that way they get nice smoke even. We'll flip them, you know, bottom one on the top, top one on the bottom. And uh, we've got another hour. Okay, it's been a couple hours. And you can see that uh, fire's almost out. And sausages are now nice and dark. And you can see them. They are ready, so I'm going to take them off. If you did it right, it smells fantastic. You get that smoky flavor, the orange in there, and you get all these nice sausages. All nice and cold smoke. So we're going to slice this Lucanico up, and we need, we're going to fry it up in a pan just to finish off the uh, cooking and heat it up. Wolfie is patiently waiting. You're going to need some olive oil to put in the pan. Uh, you want to put it on a medium heat, you're going to need a little butter, a little lemon. Okay, so we got this on a medium heat. Fry them up. Just want to, because these have been smoked, they're already cooked, but we're going to nice and warm. And we're going to go in and add a nice helping of butter. That'll go in there. And we got some lemon. And we'll just put some fresh lemon juice in there. And these will take about um, oh, probably around 10 minutes. And then you can serve them up in your plate. We'll see if Wolfie likes it. 
So we got three pieces over here that cooled off. And we got Wolfie patiently waiting. Sit, Wolfie. Stay. Wait. Go ahead. Oh, he's digging them. Oh, you like those, Wolfie? Yeah, look in the bowl, huh? Look in the plate. So I got all these packages nice, ready for the freezer. Got these cooked up, ready to eat some. Enjoy everybody, let me know how you make out.